Okay everyone, it's New Year's Eve and we've got everybody in the barn because it is snowing in Texas again. That's about as crazy as it gets twice before the end of the year. So we've got everybody in the barn and that's a, that's a squeeze. So you see Frida here in the end, she has a temporary stall and she can go out the back. So she likes that. It's very unusual for us to double up on stalls, um, but occasionally we'll do it and BG and Ivy do well together. BG has her blanket on. Hi BG, say Merry, uh, wish everybody Happy New Year. Oh, she's gonna wish y'all Happy New Year by working on her alfalfa. And so Frida can come and go as she pleases, but she's eating her alfalfa. And we have the new girls over here. There's Ginger, there's a little one, and Lauren. Oh, there we go. Hey, Lauren. Lunch it on her alfalfa. And then Maya. Maya. Come say hello, Maya. Nope. She's too busy. Oh, there we go. A little hello from Maya. And then on the other side, we've got George. Yes, George knows his name very well. Wish everybody Happy New Year, George. Oh, Happy New Year from George. And Gazi's over here. Gazi, come say hello. Wish everybody Happy New Year. There's the little man. And Junie. Junie always bunks in the aisle because she's small. And so she's got a little different setup today with a nice big panel and her hay and her alfalfa and water. So she's all good. Hi, Junie. Junie's so flexible. She, she wanted to stay in the guest room tonight, but, you know, we just couldn't make that work. So she's in the barn. <laughs> and then uh, here's Boca. Hey, Boca. Wish your mom Happy New Year. Say hey, Sabina. Happy New Year from Boca. That's a super up close, up close and personal there with Boca. <laughs> Being a very, very good boy. And then we have the goats. Boca and the goats <laughs> seem to do well together. There's Millie wishing you all Happy New Year. Yep, there's Millie. There's the goats. They've all got real deep, thick bedding so they can bury down in together tonight and stay warm. And then when Ben comes in the barn now, he gets the wash rack because it's actually the biggest and we have uh, stall mats down with some shavings. And he's probably way too interested in his alfalfa to worry about wishing anybody Happy New Year, but he probably wishes you anyway. And then Dallas. Dallas is here in the end of the barn. Dallas used to have one of the big stalls, but he likes to take the boards down. So now he's in, we're trying a temporary pen in the aisle and see if that's more comfortable for him. And so far, so good. Nice and relaxed, eating his alfalfa also. And then in the hay barn section, which will be being closed in in the next month. We're excited about that. We've got a pen set up out here. Sorry, it's a little dark, not very good lighting with the Halfies and Holly. These three do very well together. So they're in a nice large pen, which you cannot see at all because it's dark. Hold on, I can open the door to the barn. Get a little more light, let's see. All right, hold on everybody. Hi girls, wishing everybody Happy New Year from the Halfies. Happy New Year from the Halfies. Okay, and then there's Holly. If you could see her in the back. Hey, Holly. Holly's way too into her alfalfa. Sorry for no, no Happy New Year from Holly. So that's all of us here wishing you all um, a wonderful and safe end of 2017 and a fantastic beginning to 2018. And we will, we will be back tomorrow with uh, maybe some snowy pictures. Happy New Year from Texas.